Yo, what's up YouTube? Crash Wilcox, Crash Wilcox Computers. Uh, just trying to get one more video out, trying to cram these in before the end of the year um, for Christmas. So if you guys are in, still in the market looking for a new computer, new PC parts, I just want to get as many of these out as I can. So I'm not typically in the business of benchmarking and putting those kind of videos out, but since I just happen to have two computers uh, laying around, right up until Christmas time. I thought it was kind of the perfect opportunity to uh, just, you know, sort of juxtapose them to each other. So um, as you can see right here, and this isn't gonna be the most, like everything I do, not the most technical uh, breakdown of these, these benchmarks and these full computers. This isn't, you know, that kind of video. This is just what I had on hand, just one, you know, extra video or, you know, tool in your tool chest when it comes to putting together that ideal PC for you. So like you can see here, if you watched any of my last videos, this is the computer that I put together for myself. It's my, my new PC um, that I'm gonna be making this video on and uh, you know putting it up on YouTube with. So Ryzen 9 3900X, pairing that with the uh, RX 5700 XT, the MSI Gaming X version. And then um, the computer that I had uh, previous that I was using was the i9 9900K with a RTX 2060 Super. So I'm gonna be running through some benchmarks. Just, uh, I think we're gonna go through a quick Cinebench, um, just so you can see sort of how the CPU stack up against each other. Then we're gonna run through some, I think World War Z, uh, Guild Wars 2, Borderlands 3, and then Call of Duty. So, and again, these are, the most like, uh, like I said, technical, you know, some of these, I think the World War Z, I wound up having an issue with the uh, 9900K stock uh, benchmark and I didn't really feel like running it again. So I think that one that actually ran at five gigahertz overclock um, where the other ones aren't. I think they're all just stock for both of these. Um, but again, like I said, this isn't the most technical. It's just one extra video, something else to put in your, uh, in your brain when it comes to making a decision on these. And I'm not, you know, bent one way or the other. I think they both have their pluses and their minuses. Again, I, I said it in the last build guide when I made the 3900X that I'm just currently, I think the market, the way it is, kind of a little more of an AMD fan currently. I think, you know, they're kind of pushing the envelope and I want to support that innovation. So that's kind of why I lean that way. And I, as far as the benchmarking, I think, the four games that we chose um, kind of cover the whole range of what kind of games people might be interested in. You know, we got Guild Wars 2, you don't see a lot of MMOs benchmarked, but I thought, you know, that's something a lot of people still play MMOs. And then World War Z, as far as like a, you know, double A kind of action game, and obviously the Borderlands 3 and Call of Duty are more triple A titles, one multiplayer heavy. And please don't, <laughs> I'm terrible at Call of Duty. I'm brutal. So uh, those are live game plays and they're not great. They do get better, I'm better. You know, those are like just jumping into a game. I get wasted for about five minutes and then I, uh, you know, call it a day. So um, give me some, you know, some, uh, some leniency on the Call of Duty benchmarks, but there you go. Um, I will just kind of list the parts again in the description um, what the builds were, and if you do care to see the builds, both of these build guides were in the computer, in the uh, or on YouTube, so you can go back and search those. The uh, Bitfinex Portal build is what I used for these, and this was uh, like I said, my PC, the Ryzen 9 and RX 5700 XT. So, without further ado, we're going to jump into that Cinebench benchmark and then roll through with the games after that. Now, and last thing before we jump into the benchmarks. Uh, I just want to kind of make this plug just for everybody that's making content on YouTube. If you're watching a YouTube video for whoever it is, you know, Tech Deals, Linus, me, whatever it is, man, if you could just subscribe, hit the like button, just help us out, these small content creators or even the big ones, the Linuses, you know, they need your money. Um, it helps them produce better content. And for lower end people that are just starting out like me, it, you know, if we actually get to that point where we're making money, it's just going to help us make better content. And then that's just gonna, you know, help you guys have more enjoyable things to watch on YouTube. So, man, if you could just jump on there, hit that button. You don't have to watch all these videos, but if you could like and subscribe, 
that does all of us uh, a great service. So just want to say thanks for that. And then, like I said, without further ado, we're going to get into those benchmarks. Peace.
Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. Please like and subscribe. It does me a world of good. And all your favorite content creators. Merry Christmas.